Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about probability. So what you're going to do is the first couple of pages you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is probability? Well, well, right here, if you put a star right next to the definition, okay, probability or likelihood is a measure or estimation of how likely it is that something will happen or that a statement is true. Okay? Probabilities are given a value between 0%, which means it's not going to happen, and 1, which is 100%, which is certain. So take a look at this little number line here. So on, on the left-hand side, we have 0. And remember, 0 means 0%, means the, the possibility that it's going to happen is just impossible. There's no way it's going to happen. And on the far end, all right, we have a certain. All right? Now, certain means it's guaranteed to happen, 100% chance it's going to happen. So let's actually put a little 0% right here. So again, 0% means it's not going to happen, and 100% is, is guaranteed to happen. Now, most events in life range between the 0% to 100%. So for example, right in the middle, notice, we have an, an even chance. Well, an even chance basically means a 50% chance. So for example, if you flip a coin, right, the probability of getting a heads or a tails is 50-50, right? And all the numbers between 0 and 50 are the events between the possible and, and even, and all the numbers between 50% and 100% are all the likely outcomes. So for example, uh, you could say right about here is 75%, and right here would be about 25%. So again, think of probability as a number line, where, where 0 means it's impossible, and the number 1 means 100% or it's certain is going to happen. All right, let's turn the page. And now let's talk about actually the definition of probability as a fraction, all right? So let's say we want to know the probability of an event. Well, this right here, if you underline this, all right, this fraction actually gives you the setup of how to write the, the probability. So the probability of an event is the, the number of successful outcomes on the top of the fraction over the number of possible outcomes. All right, so if you please underline the word successful, that's gonna be on the top, and then possible on the bottom. All right, so take a look at this problem over here. It says, Jason has lots of colored paper. There are 45 papers in a bundle, 20 of which contain yellow paper. What is the probability of selecting a yellow paper at random? So again, imagine that all these pieces of paper are, are mixed up, right? And you randomly select one piece. Well, so we're gonna have a fraction, and the number of successful outcomes, well, well that's gonna be that we want the yellow, right? So the 20 is gonna be on the top, and altogether, there's 45 pieces of paper. So the 45 goes on the bottom. So there's a 20 in 45 chance that you're gonna select a piece of yellow paper. Now, it's always a good idea to reduce these. So I, I could divide both the 20 and 45 by five. So that's gonna be four. And then 45 divided by five is, is nine. So there's a four in nine chance that you would randomly select a, a yellow piece of paper out of the total amount which is a little bit less than 50%. All right, so now that you understand a little more about probability, why don't you pause the video and try the Your Turn Now problem, and when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So the problem says Christian has a bus rental agency and he has 24 buses available, of which eight have air conditioning. So what is the probability that a randomly selected vehicle will be an AC bus? All right, well, again, we need to come up with a fraction, and the, the numerator is gonna be the number of buses that have AC, right, because that's what we want. So there's gonna be eight on the top, and then remember that the denominator is the total number of vehicles, which is 24. And finally, we can reduce eight 24 to one third, so there is a one in three probability that Christian uh, will get a bus that has uh, air conditioning. All right, how'd you do?